Hello to all modelers! Today I have prepared for you a duel of two supersonic strategic bombers. On the one side is the American Rockwell B-1B Lancer from Academy and on the other side the Russian Tupolev Tu-160 Blackjack from Trumpeter, both on one 144 scale. Land circuit from Korean manufacturer Academy is from 2019 and in MCP multicolor plastic. The plastic parts are molded in several colors and beginners can build the kit without painting. The kit is very simple and detailed. The black jacket is much older and was first released by the Chinese company Trumpeter in 2006. This is most noticeable in the poorer quality of the molded parts. We will have to clean them up first. I started building the cockpits. It is simple for an American airplane and is just the cockpit area. The seats of the other two crew members are not in the kit at all. The instrument and dashboard decals will improve the look though.
The cockpit of the Russian machine is very detailed. We have K36 LM seats for all four crew members and very detailed interior including a toilet. Unfortunately, you can hardly see any of it. dashboard decal is missing, which is a great pity. The TU-160 has a more detailed wheel bay as well as the cockpit. However, everything needs to be cleaned and glued well. The B1B kit also allows you to open and arm the bomb bay, but I chose to close it. However, the tires have a tread pattern like a tractor wheel. I didn't want to fill them, so I just cleaned them. The masks that a friend cut for me were a big help in painting the wheels.
Both gates include a variable sweep wing geometry mechanism. But I decided to glue the wings in the takeoff position. For the TU-160, it was necessary to glue and fill the wing parts that fall during sonic flight. In the both gates, it was necessary to repair the engraving on the sides of the engines. We will lose it when we clean up the joints. I used the exhaust nozzles of the Academy model without modification. For the trumpeter nozzles, however, the surface details had to be restored. After gluing the Lancer's fuselage together, I remembered to weight the nose to keep the model from falling on its butt. I stuffed lead wire under the radome cover, which was enough. With the TU-160, I had already remembered that. Before painting, it was necessary to repair the engraving on the sides of the fuselages. Much more work was done on the engraving of the TU-160.
In the academic kit, some lines are indicated by decals. I decided to cut them in. Academy also supplies the cockpit masks for the kit. For the trumpet model, we have to mask the clear parts ourselves. I started painting the TU-160 with White Surfacer 1500, which created a good base for the white paint. I then gradually lightened the white paint. I followed a similar procedure on the B1B. First, Surfacer 1000. Then a basic gray.
and then lighten it. I repainted both models with a gloss coat Super Clear 3 and applied decals. Decals are of decent quality in both kits. After drying, I fixed the decals with a gloss varnish again. For the wash, I used two shades mixed with oil paints. The lighter one for the white areas, the darker then for the grey areas. The final varnish followed. 
For TU-160, I chose a semi-gloss coat. For the B1B, I used a flat coat. Only now, I have painted the surfaces in natural metal finish. I used different shades of super metallic paint applied over gloss black. At the end, I added some dirt with oil paint. I enjoyed building models just out of the box and without modifications. Much easier and maybe with better results was building B1B Lancer by Academy. The TU-160 Blackjack from Trumpeter was a bit more work, but I am pretty happy with it too. So for me, the Lancer won. And a few more photos at the end. I hope you enjoyed the duel and next time we can try supersonic airliners. How about Concord versus TU-144? I will be very happy for every like, subscription or comment. Thank you so much everyone. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.